وَهَدَيْنَهُ النَّجْدَيْنَ Now a little bit about the word najd. It means a mountain that has no vegetation or trees, it's bare rock. Okay? And in it there's a clear path that is leading up. Now najdain is two paths. Right? So in the vision, the image that's presented in the ayah is of a person at the foot of a hill, and in front of him there's these two, rain, these two paths that are leading right and left. Right? There are two paths. And Allah has clearly shown this path leads to this, and this path leads to that. Now the, the thing to understand is, these two paths are right in front of you, they're clear, they're heading, they're both, do they involve, uh, climbing upwards, does it involve labor anyway? Right? Whether you go up the right way or the, right, the left way, it still involves labor. And that's already been taught to us in this surah before when Allah said, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ Right? When the human being is created in toil. So now that lesson is being reinforced with a new image. Here's the next thing that's really important to note about this ayah. The word najid is the general word for mountain. And I'm going to add some things to help you understand the image that's coming. One of these ranges is easy going up, but as you go further up, there's difficulty. And the other range is very difficult in the beginning, but once you get a certain path, it becomes easy. So one is easy in the beginning, and one is hard in the beginning. One is hard at the end, and one is easy at the end. So now you've got these two choices. Right? You want easy in the beginning, uh, or you want hard in the beginning. Right? And the human being, what does he love to get immediately? Ease in the beginning. Right? We, we love things that come quickly. We don't, we, we wanna, for, as for problems that are concerned, we say we'll deal with it later. Let me just get what I want right now. Right? So now Allah says, فَلَقْ You know, وَهَدَيْنَهُ النَّجْدَيْنِ But then He says, فَلَقْتَحَ مَا الْعَقَبَةِ Al-Aqaba is a really interesting word. It is also a word used for a path. It is also a word used for a path heading up a mountain range. So it's almost synonymous with the word Najd. Except the word Aqaba means a, a path that is very difficult to climb. It's very difficult to climb. So first Allah showed us two paths. But then He told us one of these paths isn't just Najd, it's also Aqaba. It's very difficult and high and it's, you know, it takes a lot of struggle to get through this path. So he says, فَلَقْتَحَمَ الْعَقَبَةِ Then he didn't jump right into and get involved in Al-Aqaba. Al-Aqaba. Now the word iqtiham. Let's look at one word at a time. Iqtihama. Iqtiham in Arabic is to jump into something without giving it any thought. And put yourself in a, in a task that will involve a lot, a lot, a lot of work. But you, once you jump in, you jump in. Right? You ever been involved in a task that you know, you say, yeah, I can do this. Right? Or putting some furniture together or something. I'm thinking of putting, putting furniture together because I just moved, right? Oh yeah, I could do this. Right? You get involved, <laughs> and then it gets difficult. And then you realize that maybe this wasn't such a good idea in the middle of it. Right? So there's, you, you dive right in without much thought. And then you realize this is actually a lot of work and it's exhausting. Right? This is iqtiham. Allah says the human being didn't jump right away, you know, so enthusiastically into this heavy cliff. Oh, I can handle it. He didn't do that, right? Meaning, for example, in, in Zamakhshari he says that fala here could also be in the meaning of hala. Why didn't he? Why didn't he just go up the, the tougher path? Why didn't he do so? Why didn't he just jump right in? Meaning, did we not give him enough ability? Hadn't we given him eyes, two eyes, a tongue? Right? Hadn't we guided him clearly to both paths and what one leads to and what the other leads to? He had everything he needed to get on this path, so how come he didn't? So, fala is actually in the middle, in the meaning of limadha. Limadha lam yaqtahim al aqaba. How come he didn't just climb up that path? What was missing? So it's almost as though Allah Azza wa Jal is complaining about the human being who didn't jump right in. And by doing so, what is he asking all of us to do? He's asking us, he's putting a challenge on us to jump right in. To actually engage in this struggle and engage in that climbing of the mount. So, فَلَقْتَحَمَ الْعَقَبَةِ